The question we're often asked is, what is the value for an organization to adopt and use a technology like Vault Enterprise? And I think it's best when understood relative to what they would do if they're not using a system like Vault Enterprise. In many enterprises, what we see is that credentials are sort of sprawled across the entire estate. So you have passwords, API keys, credentials that are sort of plain text and app source code, config files, configuration management systems, version control. And so these credentials kind of live everywhere. And so the challenges as you talk about that are fewfold, right? One, we have an incredible risk involved with all of these credentials being plain text everywhere, meaning that if I'm a malicious insider, what are the credentials I can get access to through version control or source code or configurations that would let me get access to customer data and databases or privileged systems that maybe I shouldn't have access to, right? So this sprawl leads to a state where we don't really know who has access to what and have they leveraged that access. So one advantage of all is how do we take all these credentials and centralize them so they're all defined in one location, but we have authentication, we have authorization, we have auditing around who did what when. So now not only do you need to be authenticated, you have to be explicitly authorized. You have to have a need for that credential before you'll get it from Vault. And even if you do leverage it, we have an audit trail of who did what when. So this provides a huge amount of value as we think about what is the risk and of exposure of those credentials across an entire organization. The other challenges that are very common are things like how do we deal with the compliance requirements to do things like password rotation, key rotation, certificate rotation. In general, what we find is these are manual operations that take development teams days, weeks, or months, depending on the level of sprawl and complexity of an application. So is there an opportunity with Vault Enterprise to take those credentials and not only centralize them, but now we can automate the rotation of them, right? So we can hit APIs and periodically do rotation of encryption keys, of certificates, of passwords, and do it in a way where we only have to talk to a single central system rather than discover where these credentials are sprawled across the entire estate. So as we think about what does it take for us to sort of meet our compliance requirements, how do we reduce the amount of time, the amount of cost, the amount of man hours involved in doing that by automating away some of those processes? The other side of it is how do we get much better about reducing the lifetime of credentials? So what we often tend to see is whether it's a database credential, whether it's a certificate, whether it's you know, API tokens, they tend to be incredibly long-lived, right? We'll generate database passwords that we rotate every five years. We'll generate TLS certificates that are valid for 10 years. And so the challenge with that is if these things leak at any point in that window, then we have this sort of huge window where an attacker can use this certificate or this password because it's valid for years on end. Versus with Vault, what we try to do is add this capability called dynamic secrets where we'll generate these credentials on the fly. Instead of going to our database, and creating a thousand usernames, and then once every five years rotating the passwords. Instead, we allow Vault to dynamically connect to the database, create usernames on demand, and revoke them relatively rapidly. So instead of a credential that's valid for five years, we might have a credential that's only valid for 24 hours, 48 hours, 30 days. And Vault is responsible for that full life cycle of creating the account, rotating the password, deleting it at the end of that period of time. And so we can start to automate a lot of our sort of user account management activities that traditionally is a manual task to create, audit, and rotate all of those credentials. So when we really think about the values of Vault Enterprise for most organizations, it's really about how do we reduce the risk of these credentials being sprawled everywhere? How do we reduce the cost of our compliance? And how do we reduce the manpower associated with rotation of all these credentials and user management across a variety of endpoint systems?